For those who don't know me, I'm Dave Trimble and I'm the vocal holder for Leisure and Culture uh, in Nottingham. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, Sheffield Giants, uh, to what is a very important event uh, for this city. In 1865, 150 years ago, the Lord Mayor of Nottingham planted that oak tree just there. Uh, and it marked, it marked the Nottingham Enclosure Act being passed. And the Enclosure Act is still the bedrock of our green and open space in this city. My portfolio, portfolio includes libraries, leisure centres, theatres, museums, events, sport and heritage buildings. It doesn't sound much if you say it fast. Uh, but, and whilst I love all of those, parks and open spaces has always been my real passion. Uh, and people who know me know that. In the last seven years, despite austerity and 100 million pounds worth of cuts, we have invested over 30 million pounds in Nottingham and our parks and open spaces. Seven million of that was invested here on the forest. I'm very proud of a small parks team that has won the National Parks Team of the Year award four times in the last six years and three times in a row. That as a city, we've gone from four green flags to 22 green flags two heritage green flags, three university green flags, and even more importantly, 15 community green flags. That's the most green flags of any place in the entire country. And it's a fantastic achievement by all of our communities. And in Nottingham, and that includes our friends groups playing really, really important parts of that. So today it gives me that chance to say thank you very much to all of our friends groups, all of the people that contribute uh, tirelessly to our parks in Nottingham. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce the General Secretary of the Open, the Open Spaces Society. It's the oldest conservation organisation in the country and it was formed in the very, very same year that that tree was planted. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Kate Ashbrook uh, to come and plant our second oak tree to mark that. Thank you very much. introduction and I'm, I'm really delighted to be here because it's a wonderful coincidence that my organization which was founded in 1865 as the Commons Preservation Society should have been founded the very year that you planted the tree here in Nottingham and began to celebrate and enjoy this wonderful park and I do congratulate everybody who's been involved over the years in maintaining uh, this park because it really is a glorious open space and it's a a great thing for urban people to have these green lungs where they can get out and just feel free. And my organisation, founded 150 years ago, recognised that. We were founded at the end of the enclosure movement. Uh, at the time, it's rather strange when we think about an enclosure act giving us a park. But in the awards that followed the act, land was allotted to the people. In most cases, nothing like enough. And my organisation was fighting in its early days to win open spaces, win back the commons for the people. So this is a tremendous example of that early Victorian endeavour to get spaces for the people, for us all to enjoy. And there are towns and cities all over the country which have open spaces thanks to those far-sighted people back in the mid-Victorian era. So it is a tremendous honour to plant the second oak tree here in the forest and to celebrate with you this glorious open space and to think that perhaps in 150 times, 50 years time, my successor will be planting the third oak tree. <laughs> so I think I now go ahead with the planting. Where are the cameras? Here? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Time. Got to do it over I'll again, I know. Three. Do you need another one? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Um, it's my role today to do two things. First, to tell you a bit more about the uh, Enclosure Act lands, 
its past, present and future, and second, to exhort you about planting trees. In Spain, um, so the, the Latin name is Platanus cross, which means hybrid Hispanica. Um, you sometimes see it called um, Platanus hybrida, you sometimes see it called um, Platanus acerifolia, because the leaves are very like maple leaves. Um, so it, it can be mistaken. Easily yeah. mistaken, yeah. yeah. Um, you can see the fruits, you see those little pom pom things dangling down there. Oh, yeah. They're the fruits, they're very different from the uh, paper. And this is the kind of tree that if we've got the space, we need more of. Uh, particularly in the city, these are sort of the lungs of the city, or the, the air conditioning system people sometimes refer them to. Right. Um, and then are these on the forest? No, no, there's avenues of them. Yeah. Good job. A lot of people don't realise it's a very good timber as well. I don't really advertise that too much. Because no, because they chop it down yes. and you want it to grow. But the, the wood is the wood it's called lace wood. It's called what? Lace wood. Lace which gives you an, an idea that it's very, very nice figure. Fine grain. Um, yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, they're all defective. They're very tolerant. It's one of these big beauties they put up with so much, and you yeah. can't pull out them. Yes, yeah. It's very high up the canopy, isn't it? Yeah. All the branches are being cut off. This is a lovely example. You, you see quite a few of them that have these big, big birds um, that make a mess of them. So I measure this every now and again, and this is still growing fast. Um, it's 150 now. They, they can probably there's trees in London that are 250 years old yeah. and look perfectly healthy. It's, it's reckoned that they probably live 500 years. Yeah. Um, so they're going to do a great job for us for a long, long time. It's got a yew, I think, or put growing what, up in that, it. Well, it's a holly. Is it a holly? No. Um, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You. Beg you. your pardon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what you call a cuckoo tree. It's, ah, yeah, it's a slender. Cuckoo yeah. tree, I like Ob that. Obvious reasons. Yeah, <laughs> I should imagine folk folk would be interested in a tree like this. It takes a lot of money. Are you sorry? Folk folk. I'm very interested. Absorbing the point. Yeah, they should, we should make them go plant a load yeah, more yeah, Volkswagen yeah, sure, sure. yeah. as their yeah. tenants. <laughs> well, like Tom was saying, yeah, we should all plant a tree. I mean, this yeah. is one that uh, we need more of, it's definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid not a garden tree, yeah, yeah, I agree. But, but they are planted down Milton Street. Uh, if yeah. you look around town, once you get your eye in, you see there have been mm -hmm. a few plants here. Yeah. 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 OK, we'll press on.